Jeff here, and I'm going to be doing a real quick shave and thought I would film it because I meant to film one yesterday with my Tabac Thursday, but I didn't. Uh, but today's going to be Maggard's. It's lilac. Love the smell of this stuff. It's good, good floral scent. It's not complex. It uh, smells the same right out of this when you lather it up, and it is a great scent. I, lo I really, really love this stuff. Took me a while to get a hold of it because for some reason when I was trying to get it, they ran out. Um, they were running out, but uh, this is lilac, made in Michigan, USA. I'll be using the same razor uh, the other day. This is the number 42 Mercure. So the, they say it's the copy of the 1904 slash 1906. Y'all saw this in my last shave. This is the closed comb. And it's uh, got a Permasharp blade in it and I'm really really liking these very much I'm gonna have to get me a whole sleeve of them whatever you call it using my 830 and uh, since I'm gonna be hanging around the kids most of the day we got a doctor's appointment and stuff today uh, I'm gonna be just throwing on some Paraso green it doesn't have a loud scent or anything and with the newborn baby girl uh, which is a month old uh, you know she gets to sneezing and stuff but Oh, my hair, if you're looking at it. Uh, oh, dudes. Oh, dowds. This is the, this is the original oil-based. It's good. It's good. Especially, I'm, I'm using it this week. Uh, well, for a few days. Uh, I appreciate it more than the first time I used it. Because I've used some other stuff since then. It's got a good, good pull-through. Buildup's really nice. Clean feel. It's got a nice scent. Kind of a sweet. And yes, this is Friday and I'm off work. But uh, we got some things to do today. How are y'all doing? I believe I got some new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing. Everything had been going pretty good this week. I survived. Work was work. We got a new system on the trains. Um, it's kind of a federal government thing that uh, most of the trains have a computer system set up and they kind of tell you how to run. And uh, um, It's crazy. It's real buggy right now, but it tells you like when you're supposed to stop, you got to just comply by more rules now. Running a train, I'm an engineer locomotive engineer for a railroad, Norfolk Southern. And, um, you know, other class one railroads have had this in the system for a long time, uh, for years. And the technology's out there, it's just Norfolk Southern has been behind. You know, you know how that goes. I've got the door open, so Liam might visit us. He might. I done told him daddy's doing a video, so <laughs> he don't listen. Anyway, there's the load. Maggards is, um, they have a whole lot of different scents. Very easy to load, and as you notice, very easy to apply and, and lather up. This scent, I love it. I've done become a humongous fan of floral scents. It is a more earthy scent than rose. Get my bristles in. I used, uh, speaking of pomades, I used water-based all week. And the cool thing about water-based pomades, and this is the only cool thing, is that uh, you can change it up every day. You know, you can use Rizul Blue one day, Admiral the next, lay right the next day uh, you, can, you can go through six or seven of them through a whole week they wash right out but they don't have the pliability that oil base does because uh, if you know I'm a hat wearer I wear hats to work sometimes the occasional cap when I take it off if I have oil base I mean water based in if the hat messes up my hair, then it's just messed up. There's no fixing it. You can a little bit, but 
Water base is more like, of course, kind of like hairspray. You know, you fix it and it stays. Now, if you're going to be uh, dressing up, going out, want, you know, don't want to mess with your hair, I think water base is perfect for that. But for everyday use, I like the what I like the oil base because you can just, you know, fix it however you want to. I wish they'd make a mustache wax like that. <laughs> Gosh, it's at a stage right now. It does not want to comply. Mustaches go through stages. I'm finding out. And it's in a honorary stage. Ain't a whole lot I can do with it other than just wax it. I like the more natural look, but this is what it looks like natural. Right. I think this is like the third shave on this Perma Sharp. And these 42s, they come open comb too, and I kind of like the open comb a little bit better. It's a little bit more smoother. If you haven't checked out my myth of open combs, go back through my videos and you'll find it. It's my most viewed video. It's the myth of the open comb. And I explain how, to me, open combs are not aggressive, more aggressive, they're more smoother because it rakes the, uh, the lather and it allows that blade to fully glide over the lather and your face where a closed comb will just push it out of the way. And close this door. I'll be having a fit throwing out there. Like I said in my last video, I'm not going to be doing a live shave uh, Saturday, tomorrow. And uh, the next week is uh, Easter, so my wife informed me. So we'll have to see about then. I'm not sure what time we'll be going Easter egg hunting. If we'll do it that Saturday or that Sunday. About two, two days growth. I tell you, if you want to try good, clean uh, pomades, oh dudes, the water-based, it's kind of like a, uh, it's a good one. Um, it's kind of like a, uh, an oil-based. It acts that way. Has a little bit of a buildup. And it's in the home brood, as they call them. Made by a guy, not a company. Can't think of the guy's name, but uh, they're the uh, they're the one who started the whole uh, big time homebrew movements, and uh, one of them that starts with an S, Suavena, started the grease. I haven't tried it, but uh, not going to be getting many more pomades. Uh, fine fettle brand who I really like they're gonna be coming out with a pomade pretty soon can't wait for that
but not take away from like Ruzel or any of them. Uh, I just know that with me, with my psoriasis, uh, some of these, uh, especially with petroleum based and stuff like that, will get my head itching really bad. I've tried pomade here lately in my mustache and uh, it, it really, really messes with my, uh, my skin. Can't do that no more. Mm, love the smell of this stuff. Let me get washed off real quick. Ah. I just got out of the shower. I'm going to put on my Fairhope Soap Company Balm. I'm going to put this on the top of my face for y'all new subscribers. Made in Fairhope, Alabama. And, uh, I use this stuff every day. Uh, I'm not a balm person because it makes my oil, my face really greasy. But this stuff really, really helps my psoriasis. I got real dry skin right here, across here. And uh, it's got menthol in it. It's good, good, good. This is a Havana, Havana tobacco scented. Ah, the 42. Good razor. Good razor. Little Prosso green. Got a good clean eucalyptus scent. Very clean feel. Real earthy. Really like this stuff. I didn't appreciate it until after I tried several other aftershaves. I like a clean feeling aftershave. Prosso is probably a uh, one of the biggest soap companies out there, and for good reason. Although it's mass produced, they, uh, I'm, I like what they produce. This is Maggard's. Uh, they sell a lot of things on there. They got razors, they got aftershaves, they got uh, balms, uh, they got a lot of artisan stuff. Um, great, great bow place. They have a uh, good razor blade selection. Uh, check them out. And this lilac, if you love floral scents, this is the one to get. Love this. This is very, very good. This is my only maggots I have, and I am satisfied. Well, we're going to get ready and uh, go do some things, go to the doctor and stuff like that. I hope you all have a wonderful day. I think it's going to be up around 80 degrees. It's going to be baseball this evening on. Go Braves. Uh, but y'all have a great day. I'm Cap. I'm out.